Hello everybody, it's Foxy speaking and uh, welcome to another episode of Foxy's Fun Inspirational Chats and today I will be your host. This story is about someone, though fictional, completely fictional, completely fictional, who may be of interest. This is a story about a wonderful individual who always had committed ambitions. This individual's name was Reesley. Reesley Bota. Reesley Bota was born in Yorkshire to a middle class family. Fortunately not, though fortunately he never grew up poor but just never grew up rich. They were a normal family. He had an older brother called Hunter and a younger brother called Trevor. His parents' name were Tech, which was his father's name, although his real name was Thomas. Although born Although born as Thomas Henshaw, lots of people like to call him Tech because of his interest in technology. And his mother that's Sarah and Sarah Sarah Henshaw was was Reesley's mother. Reesley had an old, and Reesley's older brother Hunter and his younger brother Trevor, they all, who all whom got on very well with as children. Trevor was two years Reesley's junior, and Hunter was four years Reesley's senior. They all lived in a in a normal sized four bedroom house where Reesley shared his bedroom with Trevor. Hunter, being the oldest, had his bedroom all to himself. Well, and one morning as they woke up, Reesley woke up as the morning sunshine shone through his house windows. He was excited when he woke up. It's the day! It's Saturday! Reesley said as he woke up in excitement. As the eight-year-old boy leaped out of bed, he went to the bathroom and brushed his teeth. But he did not yet... He went to the bathroom, went to the toilet, but did not quite brush his teeth yet. And then he just raced downstairs and then put on... and then put the tele television on and then put on his favourite... Um, his favourite VHS. His favourite VHS. His, he put the television on and want, waited to see whether his favourite programme was going to be on. His favourite programme was Z Cars. He loved Z Cars. He loved nothing more than the police film drama of Z Cars because what I want to be when I grow up is a policeman, as he would say to himself. Then some some footsteps came trundling down the stairs. Those footsteps were Reesley's younger brother's footsteps. His younger brother Trevor came down the stairs as he heard, as he recognised the Z car soundtrack. Oh, you're watching the police, you're watching police stuff, watching police again, aren't you? Trevor said the young six-year-old Trevor. Oh yes, Trevor, the, it's the film, the, I'm watching police again. Although Trevor, although Reesley and Trevor knew full well, or, or, but did not quite fully understand as of yet, being young children, that the television drama's title was, um, was Z cars? They always like to call the Z cars program police. They 
Trevor did not mind Zed cars, but was just not 100% bothered. But Reesby, he absolutely loved nothing more than watching Zed cars. He loved Zed cars so much, and he loved all movies that had police in it. He liked cartoons as well, but he loved police dramas and police and any movies that involved having policemen in it. They got through watching an episode. As they'd watched one episode, they ended up waiting to see the other episode on the television. But just as Reesley and Trevor were watching a second episode of Zed Cars, some footsteps came trundling down the stairs. This time it was their younger brother Hunter. Oh no, not the bloody police movie, said the ten-year-old. Hunter did not like police movies, so as a result, he turned off the television and saying, No more police! You what? You are obsessed with it, Reesley. Hunter said, Oh, Hunter! Reesley grunt, grunt. I love police. It's my favourite television programme. You watch it too much, Hunter, Reesley, Hunter said firmly. Then the little eight-year-old got up and, try and attempted to arrest Hunter as if he was already the, poli the policeman in the house. Hunter, you're under arrest. Hunter was not happy with, with Reasley's obsession with wanting to be a police officer, but he was not bothered to argue with his brother in the morning. But eventually, Reasley agreed to put something else on on the television as opposed to Z cars. So all three boys together put the television on and put Tom and Jerry on, which was on a television program that channel that was airing. They all enjoyed it very, very much indeed. As they were watching Tom and Jerry, Reesley's parents' footsteps came running, came, came down the stairs. Oh, boys, said Tech, Reesley's father. Oh, you know, it's fancy dress party day today. It's, don't forget it's Saturday. It's our day to go to fancy dress. Come along, get dressed, get washed, and clean your teeth, have some breakfast, said the father. Oh, oh yes, yes, it's fancy dress day today, said, said their mother Sarah. Don't forget to get into your police uniform, Reesley, because we all know how much you want to be a police officer when you grow up. Come along now, boys, Tech said Tech their father, turn off the telly and time to get ready for the fancy dress. And so the boys did as they were told. The tele they turned the telly off, went into the bathroom and had what their bath together. They brushed their teeth and got dressed into their fancy dress costumes for the fancy dress. Reesley got dressed in his police costume. Hunter, on the other hand, he got dressed in his Spider-Man costume since he loved Marvel. Although he liked cartoons like Tom and Jerry and other things, he decided to just dress up as Spider-Man since many of his friends at school taught him to love the Marvel comics, written and put in the hands of the late Stan Lee. Trevor, on the other hand, since he liked Tom and Jerry, the cartoons, he just decided to dress up as Jerry the Mouse for fancy dress. Tech, or Thomas, the boy's father, he decided to dress up as, um, as, a bit, as someone who looked like an electrician with some electrician gear, since he really liked technology. But their mother, Sarah, but the mother, Sarah, the boy's mother, decided to dress up as a glamorous lady who's married, as though she was married to a wealthy man. 
although they were not they were certainly not poor but just not wealthy they were middle class like a they were just a normal middle class family they were all dressed up they had their breakfast and then they all left their house to go to the to go to the fancy dress party at their friend at at the boys' friend's house. They arrived at the friend's house and the friend and the and whilst they arrived at the house, the parents' house of the boys' friends, the house was crazy, not quite crazy, but the house was full of but well as they arrived at the play centre, the play centre was full of children obviously hired in the hands of um, of Reesley, Hunter and Trevor's uh, friends' parents one of for the fancy dress party. Oh, it's Reesley, said some children. There were many young children there. Many of the young children recognised Reesley from the classroom. It's Reesley and his brothers. Reesley, Reesley, Reesley. Hello, friends. It's it's PC Reasley, said one of them, even though he was not a PC really, he was just dressed up as a police officer. Yes, sir. Hello Reasley, sir, said said his children. All of Reasley was very popular amongst all of his his friends in his class. Hello, my friends. Make sure you follow the rules or I'm going to arrest you, he joked. All his friends laughed. They knew Reasley was not a police officer in real life, but they knew he he liked pretending to be one since that was what he really wanted to be when he grew up. Now children, said the parents, including Reesley, Hunter and Trevor's parents, make sure you all play nicely, nicely, but at the same time have fun. I know what you're about to say, Reesley. Yes, we all know you want to be a police officer when you grow up. And so all the children began playing. Any moment when Reesley saw any children fighting, he came up to them, and because they believed he was a police officer, even though he was dressed up as one, they immediately abided to whatever he had to say. And then they decided, to, and he, although he wasn't pretending to be serious, a serious police officer all the time, he he also knew that it was also good to have fun as well as being serious too. But after all, the fancy dress party he went to was all about having fun despite being dressed up. Obviously, any time there was any one of Reesley's friends who was dressed up as a mouse and saw his younger brother Trevor, Trevor was always being chased by one of Reesley's friends, who was dressed up as a big pussycat. So anywhere Trevor was about, sometimes he'd see Trev his younger brother Trevor being nothing but chased by one of his friends dressed up as a cat. Then, and Reesley, although he intended to have fun at the same time, he decided to pursue his friend in police, in true policeman style, after one of his friends dressed up as the Pussycat, who who gave chase to Trevor. Before long, any there were up to about four children dressed up as Pussycats, who were giving chase to Trevor since he was dressed up as Jerry the Mouse from Tom and Jerry. Although running after him at full speed around the play area. It was not long before Reesley had caught up with them. They suddenly looked back and they're like, Oh no! It's, pol it's Policeman Reesley, they said. The moment they saw Reesley dressed up in his policeman costume, they, they immediately stopped giving chase to Trevor against his will when all he wanted to do was play. Now you play nicely, you lot. You are my friends, but be nice to my little to Trevor. He's my little brother. I know he's dressed up as a mouse and you're dressed up as pussy cats, but please play nice, he said. This made 
his friends dressed up as pussycats abide Im immediately to Reasley's words. Before long, it was playtime was over, and it was only about an hour and a half away before all the children were due to go home. Before one of the work play area workers came along, well, children. Did you have fun? Did they say? Oh yes, they all cheered. I am pleased to hear that, said said um, said the play area worker. And you? And then the play area worker looked at Reasley and like, wow, you are practically the policeman, aren't you? He said, what I want to be when I grow up, Reasley said excitedly. I want to be a police officer when I grow up. Oh, how wonderful. And then one of Reesley's friends, dressed up as the Pussycat, said, He's taught all of us to play nicely or else he would arrest us, he said, all the children, including Reesley, and even the parents and the play area worker laughed at what the, one of his friends had to say. Well, well done to your friends, said the play area worker. I think your parents all need you, because I think it's nearly time for you to go, all of you to go home he said. Before long the fancy dress party was over as all the adults and children had their time alone together. They all exchanged their goodbyes as they were due to see each other once the, all over again once the weekend was over, over for the new school week. When they came upon arriving home, Hunter, Reasley and Trevor had their supper their parents provided of nice vegetable soup, since Reesley loved it very much, vegetable soup. Hunter did not like vegetable soup, and because he did not like vegetable soup, he always picked out the vegetables he did not like, but only ate the stuff he did like in the vegetable soup. But Reesley and Trevor had absolutely no problem with it. But once their supper was over, they ended up watching that they decided all together that, because it was a fun weekend, all three boys decided to watch Z cars before their bedtime. And it was always nice, because not only did, although Hunter did not like Z cars and found it a waste of time and a lot of nonsense, he decided to join his younger brothers in watching Z cars. But not only did Reesley and Trevor like Z cars. Both Reese, Reese, both Hunter, Reesley, and Trevor's parents, Tech and Sarah, very much liked Z cars too. So, four out of the five could thoroughly enjoy Z cars together. Before long, the Z cars episode had finished on the television. But obviously, before the episode had finished, Reesley said. When I'm policeman, I really want to be like PC Fancy Smith. <laughs> I think you are. Uh, well, I think you are PC Fancy Smith already, said Tech. Heck, the father. And you do a good job, you know, said Sarah, the mother. Well, bedtime, bedtime, boys, said the fa said Tech, the father. Off you go now. It's time for parents. For the parents now to watch some telly. Good night. Good night, Mum and Dad, said the boys. Good night. Good n oh, good night, boys, said the, said the mother sweetly. Sleep well. It's our relaxing sun on day tomorrow. You've got your friend round tomorrow, said, said Tech. And so all the boys went upstairs. They brushed their teeth and went into their bedrooms. Hunter, on the other hand, Hunter liked reading, so he decided to read many of his books. But Reesley and Trevor decided to play, stay up and play for a little bit. Since it was the weekend, they decided to play police officers for a bit. After, after their time of playing police officers was over, uh, whereas Trevor would play a criminal, and Reesley would obviously be the policeman. 
but before long it was time for him to get out of his police costume, as was with um, Trevor, who had just changed into his criminal outfit as a means to just abuse his, young, his older brother. They got into their pyjamas. They had already brushed their teeth, so they decided to read a storybook. And once they finished reading their storybooks, but their storybooks they liked reading, was they enjoyed all kinds of storybooks. Any type, even police stories they in always they liked, but certainly in the case of Reasley did he love and enjoy reading police stories. And they did very much like reading Roald Dahl books. Before long, it was time for them to go to bed. They turned their lamps out and said good night, and both and Trevor fell asleep. But then Reasley, who uh, who was the last one, fell happily to sleep, thinking and dreaming of all the wonderful memories he had of the weekend, of pretending to be a police officer at the fancy dress party, and also dreaming of his future occupation of being a police officer, which he very, very much would see and envisage as his big future. The end. Well, yes, yes, that's the story. And, uh, of course, yes. But uh, I hope you, all of you guys enjoyed watching this latest episode, everybody. Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Uh, thanks all indeed for watching this video, and I shall certainly see you in the very, very next Foxy's Fun Inspirational Chats episode. Ta-ta, another time. From Foxy. <laughs> oh.